let us see communication uh, mcqs uh, question and answers so a type of microwave repeater where the received rf carrier is down converted to an if frequency amplitude filtered and further demodulated to baseband is baseband repeater okay a baseband repeater is where the received rf frequency is down converted to an if frequency and uh, amplified filtered and further modulated demodulated to baseband in order to reduce cross sectional dimensions the waveguide to use is r this ridge ridge one so in, you want to reduce this cross sectional dimension uh, the waveguide has to be ridged Now indicate which one of these following applications or advantages of radar beacons is false. More accurately or more accurate tracking enemy targets. This is wrong. Refers to more than one transmission path or methods of transmission available between transmitter and receiver. Which one is this? Diversity. Diversity refers to more than one transmission path. Our method of transmission available between a transmitter and a DX and RX. Now, a solution to the blind speed problem is to vary the radio frequency. Okay, now with the varying the radio frequency, you can easily get uh, this blind speed to be avoided. The direct path that exists between the transmitter and receiver antennas. is line of sight los the function of the quartz delay line in an mti radar is to help in subtracting a complete scan from the previous scan the type of uh, diversity where it modulates two different rf carrier frequencies with the same if intelligence then transmitting both rf signals to a given destination is frequency diversity the coho in mti radar operates at the intermediate frequency now which type of uh, diode does not ordinarily operate with reverse bias it is tunnel tunnel type of diode that is, does not uh, ordinarily operate with reverse bias now what happens when a horn antenna is made longer it gain increases as we in, uh, make this horn antenna longer the gain increases the type of diversity where the output of the transmitter is fed to two or more antennas that are physically separated by an appreciable wavelength this is known as space diversity the doppler effect is used in we have to indicate the false statement moving target plotting on a ppi Now the type of diversity where a single RF carrier is propagated with two different electromagnetic polarization. This is polarization diversity. Now scope displays what it displays a target range but not position. A glass tube of a TWT may be coated with aquadrac two to provide the attenuation. Okay, to provide the set. the type of diversity which consists of a standard frequency diversity path where the two transmitter receiver pair at one end of the path are separated from each other separated from each other and connected to different antennas that are vertically separated as in space diversity it is hybrid diversity now the biggest disadvantage of cw dropper radar is it does not give the target range okay it does not give the target the combination of the frequency space polarization and receiver density into one system is quad diversity now if the target cross section is changing the best system for accurate tracking in mono pulse now the multi cavity klistron is not good level amplifier because of noise An arrangement that avoids a service interruption during periods of deep fades or equipment uh, equipment failures are protection switching arrangement. 
A type of attenuator where attenuation is accomplished by insertion of a thin card of resistive material through a slot in the top of a waveguide is flap attenuator. Now after target has been acquired, the best scanning system for tracking is what? Conical. The duplexer is used to to allow one antenna to be used for reception or transmission without mutual interference. Type of protection switching arrangement where each working radio channel has a dedicated backup or spare channel is hot standby. Now if a return echo arrives after a allocated pulse interval, what is it? The target will appear close and it really is. So target will appear closely then it really is if a return echo arrives after the allocated pulse interval. Now the points in the microwave system baseband signals either originate or terminate. The points in the microwave microwave wave, uh, system baseband signal either originate or terminate at terminal stations. So the half wavelength close section of a waveguide that act as a parallel resonant circuit is known as cavity resonance. Now, decreasing the volume of cavity cause it causes what? It decreases the frequency to, to increase. Now, the IF bandwidth of radar receiver is inversely proportional to the pulse width. Pulse width. So, which of the following devices are not being used in microwave power amplifier? Magnetar on. Which is not true. I, high PRF will increase the maximum range. It's not true. So, it is a unidirectional device made of ferrite material used in conjunction with a channel combining uh, network to prevent the output from interfering into uh, with the output of the another transmitter. What is it? It is an isolator. Now, which is not true for the following. Flat top rectangular pulses must be transmitted in radar too. Make the return echo, uh, echoes easier to the dis to distinguish from the noise. This is not true. The power that leaks out of the back and sides of the transmit antenna interfering with the signals entering with the signal uh, entering the input of the nearby receiving antenna is ring around. So this power leakage is known as ring around. Which of the following is not true? The radar cross section of a target is equal to the actual cross-sectional area of for small target, it is not. So it is a general term applied to the reduction in signal strength at the input to a receiver. It is fading. Okay. Now the thing is that there is a very sharp line difference between attenuation and fading. So a general term which is applied to the reduction in signal strength at the input to a receiver is fading. Okay. Indicate which of the following cannot be followed by the word waveguide. It is coaxial. If the ratio of the antenna diameter to the wavelength in a radar system is high, this will result in what? Increased capture area. The ratio of antenna diameter to the wavelength. Okay, diameter to wavelength in a, a random system is high. A radar system is high. This will result in increased capture. Now, high power TWTs are replacing what in a microwave amplifier? High power TWTs, TWTs, uh, clusters. The most widely used microwave antenna is a HAR. The most widely used microwave antenna is a HAR. Now applies to propagation variables in a physical radio path which affect change in path loss between transmitter at one station and its normal receiver at the other station. This is fading. Uh, Varector and step recovery diodes are widely used in what type of circuit? Frequency multiplier. It is defined as line loss incurred by electromagnetic waves as it propagates in a straight line through vacuum with no absorption 
or reflectivity of energy from nearby objects this fsi for proper operation magnetron must be accompanied by permanent magnet uh, it is the ratio of wide band carrier to the wide band noise power carrier to noise ratio carrier to noise ratio it is the ratio of wide band carrier to the wide band noise power now the microwave tube amplifier uh, uses an axial magnetic field and a radial electric field this is the cf now the figure of mallet used to indicate how much the signal to noise ratio deteriorates as a signal passes through a circuit or a series of circuits is the noise factor so figure of mallet which is used to indicate how much this signal to noise ratio deteriorates deteriorates as a signal passes through a circuit or series of circuits this is this is noise factor. Now the point where the antenna is mounted with respect to the parabolic reflector is called the focal point. Now the operating frequency of cluster on and magnetron on is set to is, is set by the cavity resonators. Now using a small reflector to beam waves to the larger parabolic reflector is known as a Cassegrain feed. Cassegrain feed. One of the following is unlikely to be used as a pulse device. Which one is this? BWO. So this is when electromagnetic waves are propagated in a wave guide. They are reflected from the walls but do not travel along them. Okay. They when they are propagated by this is the wall. They do not. Uh, they do not travel along them. They get reflected. So waveguides are used mainly to for microwave uh, signals because they will be too bulky at lower frequencies. The wavelength of a wave in a waveguide is greater than the free space. Now the main difference between the operation of transmission lines, liners, and waveguide is that transmission lines use the principal mode of propagation. And therefore, do not suffer from low frequency cutoff. So, the useful power of the transmitter that is contained in the radiated pulses is termed as peak power. In radars, echoes that are produced when the reflected beam is strong enough to make a second trip double range echoes. And we have to indicate the false statement compared with the equivalent transmission lines, three gigahertz waveguide, are less bulky. Okay, this is false statement. They are not bulky. The range beyond which target appear as second return echoes is called as maximum range, maximum unambiguous range, maximum usable range. When a particular mode is excited or in a waveguide, then there appears an extra electric component in the direction of the propagation. The, result, the resulting mode is transverse magnetic. In a darts, echoes that arrive after the transmission of the next pulse are called as second return echoes, second time return echoes, multiple line return echoes. So when electromagnetic waves are reflected at an angle from a wall, their wavelength along the wall is greater than the actual direction of the propagation. So radar mile is how much? It is 2000 yards. As a result, uh, result of uh, reflections from a plane conducting wall, electromagnetic waves acquire an apparent velocity of light in space, which is a phase velocity. So in radars, the time between pulses is called as rest time. Indicate the false, that is when the free space wavelength of a signal equals to the cutoff wavelength of the guide, the wavelength within the waveguide becomes infinite. This is wrong. So in radars, the duration of the pulse is pulse width. The signal propagated in a waveguide has a full wave electric intensity change between two further walls and no component of the electric field in the direction of the propagation. The mode is TE20. In radars, the number of pulses transmitted per second is called as pulse repetition frequency. 
which of the following is incorrect the dominant mode of the propagation is preferred with rectangular wave guides because the resulting impedance can be matched directly to the coaxial axis this is wrong it is mean of employing radio waves to detect and locate objects such as aircraft ships and land masses what is this radars the choke flange may be used to couple two wavelengths to compensate the discontinuity at the joint and the resonant frequency of a cavity may be varied by changing any of these parameters except cavity resistance so in order to to couple two generators to a wave guide system without coupling them to each other which could not be used which cannot be used e plane peak cannot be used so this was all about uh, our mcqs for communication thank you so much take care